I'm sorry, y'all, that I took up maybe 10, 15, 20 minute, 30 minute, 40 minute break. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, my show came on. I wanted to see what was going on. You know, I love me some Queens of Tifa. Uh, the Equalizer. Uh, I'm not promoting it. Just, you know, watch it. It comes on every uh, Sunday on 8 o'clock. Well, listen. You know, I don't do back-to-back -back stories. One. Unless I'm saying part one, part two, or part three. But I guess I'm going to do this as a part three. Do I understand it? No. Do I want to understand it? No. Okay, so I was running around some, uh, running across something about maybe an hour ago or an hour or two ago. And it said Kim Burrell apologizes to Yolanda Adams and Tamara Hall. But I was trying to figure out why are you apologizing when you claim Yolanda Adams was not all that supportive. Now, it seems to me you contradicting yourself. Because what it seems to me is that the same thing that you said Yolanda Adams was doing, it seems to me that now you're doing. But I've seen a lot of stuff and a lot of people told me that when they reacted to these uh these things about Kim Burrell, because, you know, like I told y'all yesterday, I don't follow her. I don't too much know anything about her. But a lot of people tells me that she... I always find myself in a lot of controversy. Excuse me, y'all. That's what a lot of people tell me. But what I don't understand is why, if you feel like every time you turn around, you owe some people an apology, then you shouldn't do the things that you're doing and then you shouldn't say the things that you're saying. And that's just the way and I'm going to be real with you. That's just the way I feel about it. Because I feel like some things are meant to be said and some things are meant to is not to be said. And I do feel that she take it a part too much that I don't know, y'all. I'm just trying to figure it out. Because from what I see, she's supposed to be a pastor. I didn't know that about her. But now I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to say I didn't know that about her because I'm going to say, I guess any, any person that gets in the pool pit will be called a pastor. So, I was just trying to figure it out. Why would you keep putting yourself under controversy? I'm sorry, y'all. I was trying to fix my charger where it won't, you know, I can be able to reach it. So, to make a long story short, like I see I look across the internet and I see all these things about her. Okay, two months ago, it says uh, somebody named Demetria, a gospel singer, Kim Burrell called people broke and ugly. I said this before. When is enough is going to be enough? When is we going to stop being so... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, then, too, I was talking to a bunch of my friends last night. And a bunch of my friends did say this. Money seems to change you in a lot. A lot of ways. Well, 
But I just, I don't know. She keeps seeing how Yolanda Adams betrayed her, how Yolanda Adams didn't support her. But then you come back on YouTube and say that you want to apologize, you wanted to apologize to Yolanda Adams and Tamara Hall. For what? I mean, first of all, I say this. Tamara Hall invited you on her show for you to speak your truth. You spoke your truth. I feel like if you don't like the way I'm speaking my truth, then why did you invite me on, on your show? And then they keep saying that Kim Burrell put Yolanda Adams on blast, but Tamara Hall wasn't happening. See, this is why I say you separate business from friendship. I don't, I don't, you know what, y'all, I don't understand it. But like I said, it, it's, it's, it, I have watched a lot of things that she has said, but I also, Don't, I don't understand. I've been trying to figure all this out. But I do know this, Kim Burrell finds herself at most controversially ever. Every time you look up or look up on the tabloids, Kim Burrell finds herself in some type of situation. Like they say, Kim Burrell makes nasty remarks in the church. Kim Burrell, why does her guerrilla behavior go unlocked by the black churches? I'm not understanding. It. I'm not understanding. It. And the 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 other thing is they. A lot of people drag been dragging her since the comment that she made. But I think like everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Like, I'm gonna say this. I was talking to somebody about it. I was talking to my fan, one of my family members. And one of my family members said, I was saying, Well, have you heard I said, Have you heard the story about Kim Burrell where she was talking ugly in the pool pit, saying some nasty remarks and about how she would, she got this controversy about about being towards gay people, and they said, and that's when they was bringing up the Bible and stuff. They was talking about how it doesn't say it's in the Bible that being gay. No, it doesn't say it's in 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 the Bible about two gay men. It doesn't say. Gay men, men be with men, and women be with men. It does say a guy made woman and men, and that's who should be together. Yes. But in Revelation, it's a picture of two men together. I don't know. I think I think people see what they want to see. I don't think people look at the reality of what's in the generation today. And then it was just like, she was saying she didn't like what she see, but there's nothing that she could do about it. But yeah, I'm gonna get into that. That's gonna be a that's gonna be an upcoming story that I'm gonna talk about. Um, I just think. I don't know what to say. Sometimes I be feeling like if I could learn how to interview these people, I would definitely interview these people because these people have some something going on in their mind, something that's not right. You know, for years and years to come, the church have always, I feel like, uh, 
judges the LGBT community. The church have always, when one of, one of our peers walked in the church just to, to get some praise in, in God because we needed it, they've always looked to us and started preaching. So I just think it's all, I just think it's all wrong and I just think it's a hot mess that people keep feeling like it's okay to talk about other people. I don't even think it's right. Call me wrong, call me ugly, say I'm, I'm making some nasty remarks, say whatever you want to say about me. I don't care. But at the end of the day, I do feel like people are allowed to make their own decisions in life and people are allowed to make their own opinions. But why you have to make your your own decisions against somebody just because of their sexuality? I don't get it. But I guess it, it's like when I just done the this video a while ago about Dwayne Wade and his son or daughter. I put it like that on there to, to breathe baby right. It's not for me to understand. It's for God and you to understand. It's not for me. And do I feel like that's why some people don't come to the church? What the people see in, in the text? I do feel like that's some why people don't come to the church. It's because the church is steady judging people. And when is the church going to stop judging people and do what they're supposed to do and honor God? That's what I want to say. What makes you know better than anybody else? What makes you better than anybody else? That's all I got to say. I'm not going to keep y'all over here too long.